Here are things people have said to me as a baker. Hello there. Who is in charge here? Oh, um, me. No, love, not you. Where's the male in charge? Me, but add the fee in front of the male. I don't think you're getting me. I want to speak to a man. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll get him. Hello, how can I help you? Hello there. Um, what's your favourite pastry in here? I'm curious. I really need recommendations. Oh, yeah, that's fine to ask. Um, yeah, I like the apple turnovers. Oh, um, ew. Okay, um, I like the jam donuts as well. Ew, um, no, I just, I just came in for a slice of chocolate cake. Then why did you ask for my opinion? Hi there, uh, love your stuff. Just a preface, um, I'm lactose intolerant. If you feed me any dairy, I will blast off like a rocket, like your toilet will not be okay. <laughs> I did not need to know all that. Hello there, you probably won't understand me and my accent, but can I get a wassa? Um, a croissant? Yes, we oui, uh, wassa. Great, yeah, here you go. Why do bakers wear those silly tall hats? I mean, I'm not wearing one because I'm not baking right now, but it's to allow circulation above our heads so our heads don't get too hot. Um, oh, so I, I don't need to call the hygiene inspector. Why would you do that? Um, you have a, a rat under there, right? That's the way it should be. No. Oh, well, my mum sent me in for bread. You have a lazy eye and a pokey nose. Great. Okay, here's your bread. And here's the monies. That is a button. No, monies. Fine. Ah, I love the music in here. It's so calming. I'm sure what you listen to when you bake is just as nice. Oh yeah, you know, I'm actually I'm actually a really big fan of metal music. Shh, relaxing. Can I get you anything? Bakery is nothing but relaxing, happy music, sun, fields, bunny rabbits, Easter, Easter bunny. Uh -huh. Oh my god, Alice, I'm so sorry to hear. Hear what? You poor thing, you have dermatitis. Oh, don't worry about that. I mean, most bakers get it because we wash our hands too often. Oh, um, I didn't know that was what caused it. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it's quite common in bakers. What? Did you go to the hospital? I heard it can kill people. Um, no, love, it's just a skin condition. I have a dermatologist, um... Oh, I thought it was, like, inflammation of the brain. Did you think I had meningitis? Oh, oh... Um, that explains why no one else was panicked. Hi, I bought this donut and it tastes weird. That, sir, is a bagel. Hi there, can I get a pit of bread? A pit of bread? Yeah, a pit of bread. Did I not just say that? Yeah, you did. Um, here you go. <laughs> uh, my wife loves desserts so much so that her favourite one is an eclair and she named our daughter Claire. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, um, she didn't really like the idea of naming our second born after mine. <laughs> Aw, what's yours? Bagel. Oh, um, yeah, uh, we settled on it being her second name. <laughs> Can I just leave my baby here with you guys for two minutes? Um, listen, I know babysitter and baker start with the same letter, but that's not what we do here. It'll only be five minutes, I promise. Oh my god. Hi there, um, do you sell newspapers? No, we are a bakery. Pizza? Nope, this is a sweet bakery. Chewing gum? This is not a convenience store, sir. Sausage rolls? No. Oh, oh no, wait, we do those. Hmm, maybe I'll just go to the convenience store. Oh, okay. Can I have a coffee cake? Yep, here you go. <laughs> this has coffee in. Oh, uh, do you serve cupcakes? No, I don't think we do. Can I get a baguette, please? Yeah, of course. Oh, no, not in that shape. Then it's not even a baguette. Learn your bread language. Um, so it said Alice served me on my receipt. Who is Alice? That'd be me. I don't remember you serving me. Are you sure there's no other Alice's? Why do you even ask? Can I get a baguette, please? Yeah, of course, what would you like in your baguette? Just ham and cheese, please. Oh, sorry, we just ran out of ham. But I want ham. We don't have any. 
I thought I'd perform it as a dance just in case you didn't understand my normal words. What? We don't have ham. Okay, then get some. No. I wanted a bento style cake, not a miniature cake. I hate to break it to you, but a miniature cake is a bento cake inside a lunchbox. What's the number for your health inspector? Oh, um, is there anything I could help you with before you decide to ring her? The salt and pepper shakers on the tables are empty. It's a health and safety risk. That is not her problem. I'm a nurse. Can I get my coffee right now? No. Are you discriminating against me just because I'm a nurse? No, I'm discriminating against you because you skipped the entire line. I am a nurse. And I am a baker. Yes, nurse. Yes, baker. Fine. Hello, sprichst du Deutsch? Oh, um, I never get to practice my language. Um, ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch. Okay, so ich möchte da bitte zwei Baguette mit Zellerchen schenken. Ich bin nicht so gut. Sprichst du Deutsch? Sprichst du English? <laughs> Ugh, fine, I would like two baguettes please with salad and ham. Why didn't you just speak in English in the first place? Wow, you look really tired. Okay, I'm gonna need a seven tier cake by tomorrow. And you wonder why I look tired. Hello there, my wife is looking for a fat-free lard cake. Okay, we don't do those. Do you do bread in bread shapes? Bread shape, okay, um, if you take a look at the wall behind me, you might spot what you're looking for. Hi there, do you make specialty cakes? We do, we do for weddings and for birthdays. No, 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 I mean with specialty flowers. I mean, we can try. What specifically are you looking for? A rye cake. Using rye flour. <laughs> sure, that's gonna be one hell of a dense cake though. Can you make it light and fluffy? Are we talking about the same grain here? Rye and light and fluffy should not go in the same sentence. Okay, my mum sent me in. She says she's looking for a classical cake. Describe classical. I was hoping you'd know. I am a baker, not a mind reader. You're gonna need a little bit more information. Can I get a carrot cake with no carrot? No. It's worth a shot. Do you have graham crackers? Why are they? They're like an American, um... American? Yeah, American cracker. You're in a traditional Irish bakery and you're asking for an American cracker? Do you at least do s'mores? The closest thing to a s'more you will be getting today is two slices of bread either side of your face and being called an idiot sandwich. I should probably try elsewhere. You do that. Hey, do you sell fruits and vegetables? You are in a bakery. I'm looking for a pretzel in the shape of a love heart. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, we can do that for you. Yeah, it's for my dog. Oh. Um, your wife doesn't like pretzels? <laughs> I should probably get one for her, shouldn't I? Yeah, you should. Hello, I'm seven years old. My mom is too lazy to get out of the car, so I came in by myself. Can I buy something? Yeah, of course. What would you like? Two cherry bakewells, please. Here's the money. Okay, great. I'll grab you two of them. You have old lady hands. I am well aware. What icing do you use in this bakery? Okay, we use cream cheese or American buttercream. No, 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 I don't mean buttercream, I mean icing. Okay, um, hello there, um, I would like to order a black icing cake without any food colouring. Sorry, no food colouring? No, you said you can use that charcoal stuff. Charcoal icing on an entire cake would taste like you're eating a fireplace. I really wouldn't recommend it. I don't understand how you work in these conditions. Conditions? Um, can you elaborate? Just cakes everywhere. And what's so terrible about that? You have to resist eating them constantly. Yeah, it's really, really difficult. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. You're lucky you're not the size of a house. Oh my God. Do you have any scones? Oh yeah, um, we have fruit ones or chocolate orange ones today. Can you make plain ones for me? Unless you're willing to pay for the entire batch and my time, no. You sell Christmas cakes? Yes, we do. There's our selection right there. 
Oh, um, it says they're alcohol free. Yeah, well, as I don't have a liquor license, I can't actually sell stuff with alcohol in it. Then what's the point? Some people would prefer it without alcohol. I don't know, you don't have to buy it. Oh yeah, don't worry, I'll be telling all my friends not to get their Christmas cakes here because you don't have brandy in them. You do that. Hello there, are you even a proper baker? Yep, I am. You know, I'm even wearing the uniform, so... <laughs> That's a chef uniform. You know, I didn't think anyone would notice. Wow, you look really tired. Okay, I'm gonna need a seven-tier cake by tomorrow. And you wonder why I look tired. <laughs> Hello there, my wife is looking for a fat-free lard cake. Okay, we don't do those. Do you do bread in bread shapes? Bread shape. Okay, um, if you take a look at the wall behind me, you might spot what you're looking for. Hi there, do you make specialty cakes? We do, we do for weddings and for birthdays. No, 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 I mean with specialty flowers. I mean, we can try. What specifically are you looking for? A rye cake. Using rye flour. Mm -hmm. Sure, that's gonna be one hell of a dense cake though. Can you make it light and fluffy? Are we talking about the same grain here? Rye and light and fluffy should not go in the same sentence. Okay, my mum sent me in. She says she's looking for a classical cake. Describe classical. I was hoping you'd know. I am a baker, not a mind reader. You're gonna need a little bit more information. Can I get a carrot cake with no carrot? No. It's worth a shot. Can I get a bagel with no hole? Can I get a donut but just the hole? So, as the best florist in the world, I've brought you all the flowers you will need for next month's wedding cakes. Next, next month? How am I supposed to keep these alive? That sounds like a you problem. If they die, you have to pay for them again. Why does this cake taste fizzy? Hey, um, has anyone seen the baking soda? I bought a new tub of that last night. A tub? What did you do with it? I put half of it in the cupcakes. I need to use your bathroom. Oh, I'm sorry, they're for paying customers only. Okay, what's the cheapest thing on your menu? Probably a singular cocktail sausage roll. Um, they're 50 cent each. P 50 cent for a sausage That's outrageous, I'm just gonna pee out the back. Uh, uh, so, my wife is having surgery in an hour, but she's hungry, so I'm gonna get her a baguette. Um, are you sure she's supposed to be eating? Ah, psh, I'm sure the doctors don't mean that seriously. I can't reject you service, but I really want to. Ugh, uh, fine. You know what? We'll just go across the road to the fast food place. <laughs> Those poor doctors. Can I get a cake with something rude on top? As long as it's not too vulgar and our baker decorators feel comfortable writing it, yeah, of course. Okay, I have it written on a piece of paper. Okay, we'll do it. Where is the cake decorator? Right now. Oh, it's probably me. What can I help you with? In what world did you let my son write those vulgar words on top of a cake for his grandma? Do you guys have a first aid kit? I just hurt my finger. Yeah, we do. What do you need? Just a band-aid. Okay, yeah, I'll get you a plaster. No, 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 I said a band-aid. Okay, I'll get you one of them. Hello, welcome to the bakery. How can I help you? I'll just get a baguette, please. Oh, I like the ribbon in your hair. Thank you. Um, you should wear ribbons to work as well. Yeah, I wish. Hi there, can I get a smoked salmon and cream cheese bagel, please? Yeah, of course, here you go. Thanks. <laughs> what is this? What do you mean, what is it? It's a smoked salmon and cream cheese bagel, like you asked for. It smells like fish, I don't like fish. Take it back and make it again. What did you think salmon was? Ugh, baking is so easy. I find it funny that you can make an entire career around it. Okay. Anyways, can I get a Danish pastry? Sure. Here is 140 grams of flour. Here is two eggs. Here is 60 grams of sugar and 40 grams of butter. What's this? If you find baking so easy, make it yourself. Hi, I have a picture of a cake I'd like you to bake. Cool. I love reference photos. Let me see it. Here you go. Okay, so a giraffe, a blue sky, some green grass, and some flowers. Okay, yeah, but I want uh, no grass, a blue elephant, a grey sky, and no flowers. Then what is this reference photo for? Only the shape of the cake. 
A circle? Yeah, a nine inch circle. Hi, do you sell any meats? What? Meats, you know, like pork chops, uh, steak. No, sir, we are not a butcher. This is a bakery. There is a butcher like two kilometers up the road. I'm sure they're the same thing. I mean, we sell pies with um, savory meats in and sausage rolls. Why would I want them? I asked for steak or pork chops. You're also in a bakery. Hi, Alice. Has the health inspector been informed about that thing? The bar going through my ear. Yes. No, um, it's not her job to be informed about that sort of stuff. But it is a bar going through your ear. Yes, and it's none of her business. Is that not unhygienic? Do you see me kneading the bread with my ear? No. Then as long as I clean it, it is hygienic. Okay, hear me out. Savory pies with a sweet filling. Um, life-changing idea. It would be life-changing. Yeah, it, it really would. Hi there, um, can I get a Black Forest Ghetto, please? Yeah, of course, here you go. <laughs> uh, where's, where's the alcohol? Oh, uh, we want to make sure all ages can enjoy the cake, so we don't put any alcohol in it. You're joking. No. Well then, what's the point? <laughs> Next, you're going to tell me the tiramisu I've been buying from you for years has no alcohol in. Uh, it, it doesn't. No, I would know if it has alcohol in because I'm absolutely smashed after every time I eat it. What? I'm sorry, it, it, it doesn't have any alcohol in. What about your Christmas puddings? No. You're joking. Hello there, can I buy a traditional Irish cake please? Yeah, of course, we have some traditional apple cake and if you're looking for something a bit more modern, you can have Guinness bread. Oh, uh, okay. Um... We also have soda breads. They're very traditional. N nothing more sweet? I mean, apple pie is kind of a tradition. Do you have anything with chocolate, maybe? Um, you're not gonna get anything traditional with chocolate in. I mean, is there any Irish baked good without bread or apple? I think what you're trying to tell me is you've traveled all the way to Ireland and you wanna try some authentic foods, but you also just don't like our authentic foods. Is that a bad thing? Not one bit. Here's a chocolate brownie with an Irish flag in it. I'm doing a big order today, Alice, because my wife said I'm only allowed cake on special occasions and boy is it a special occasion. Oh, <laughs> happy birthday. It's not my birthday. Oh, sorry. Um, what's the special occasion? My cat passed away. That's special? Anything to justify buying cupcakes. Anyways, okay, um, yeah, I need a full-size chocolate cake and six cupcakes in any of the flavors you have in stock. I'm desperate. Wow, you're going all out. I just really need cake. I tried to convince my wife that we should buy 14 cupcakes, one for every year that the cat lived, but she caught on. Okay, well, um, here's an extra cupcake on me. <laughs> um, Alice, my cake just collapsed on the drive home. What did you do? What did I do? Yeah, you obviously didn't add enough supports to it. Okay, well, I did give you instructions on how to drive with the cake. But yeah, they're kind of pointless. I disregarded those and I strapped it into the back seat. Oh god. So yeah, I strapped it in and I drove over a speed bump at like 70 miles an hour. It really wasn't that fast and it just jumped out of the seat. You obviously didn't support it enough. At that speed, the only support the cake needed was moral support for how screwed it was about to be. Well, um, can you remake it within the next 10 minutes? No! Hey, Alice, look what I found. What? Ah, oh, put it away. Okay, it's just a potato peeler. Just, just put it away. Whoa, what about this? Ugh, that too. Is this a pastry brush? The smell and the mould that grows in one of those, just put it away. What about this? Don't ever, ever show me this. Microplane? Is that what it's called? <laughs> or this? <sighs> my fingers. Hi there, my wife sent me in with a list of what to buy for us. Oh, okay, um, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I need uh, three bottles of milk, some tuna, and some burger buns. Um, sir, you're well aware this isn't a grocery store. Oh, and a rotisserie chicken. Okay, um, hi there, are you taking job applications? Yep, we are, but um, just for experienced bakers and professional bakers only. 
Yeah, psh, I've made loads of boxed mix cupcakes. I'm sure I'm fully qualified. Okay, um, here's the application form. <laughs> uh, what does that say? Okay, yeah, let me read it for you. Um, what is your average way of making bread? The traditional process or the chorley wood process? How am I supposed to know that? I've never made bread before. Yeah, this isn't gonna work out. Hi, my son loves Lego. I was wondering if you could make him a Lego themed cake. Yeah, that sounds perfect, but just to make you aware, I will not be putting any real Lego pieces on top, even with your consent, just to make sure there's no choking hazards, especially because of his age. Oh, there's no need to worry about that. He's smart. I am fuming. My son had that cake from you and he choked on the Lego on top. He's okay, but I am traumatized. Can I ask how did the Lego get on top of the cake? Well, I only put a Lego man on top. You put the Lego man on top. This is your fault. <sighs> hey Alice, here are all of the flowers for the wedding cake straight from the garden centre. <laughs> garden centre? Yeah, it was cheaper just to go to the garden centre and pick a few. Don't tell them I had to dress up as a gardener. <laughs> no, it's nothing... You probably shouldn't do that. Um, it's just to do with the pesticides they use in garden centres. We can't legally put them near a cake. Oh, no, don't worry about that. I know the garden centre. If anyone gets sick, I'll just go back. No. Hi there, can I get three pan au chocolates, six baguettes and four croissants, please? Oh, sorry, we have a limit on how many things people can buy just because it's the weekend and we want to keep everything fair. Okay, just give me the max of everything. Okay, here you go. Now, next, please. Hello? Hi there. Oh. <coughs> Hi there, can I just get a couple croissants, pan au chocolates and uh, two baguettes, please? Oh, you know what? I'm not bothered. Okay, here you go. Hi there. Hello? Hello. Did you want to order anything? No. Hey son, hi. Hi. Can I get a... Sorry, can you ask your son to lower his iPad volume? It's just he's in a bakery, it's supposed to be quite quiet in here. No, N no, 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 he will flip out. Okay then, but when you're done ordering, you're gonna have to sit outside or leave um just because i don't want it disturbing anyone yeah that's that's understandable that's fine um can i get a blueberry muffin for me and a gingerbread man for um for todd oh i'm so sorry but gingerbread men are only around christmas time as it's spring we don't have them anymore no i'm sorry make something that looks like a gingerbread man i cannot deal with him please we we have iced uh iced um easter bunnies i'll take it Okay, good luck. Hi there, can I order an apple pie, please? Yeah, of course. And a flat white. Perfect, that is... Five euro seventy... Where'd he go? Hi there. Hi. Where is my coffee? You haven't even paid for them yet. We don't have anything ready for you. But I literally just went to the bathroom over there. I was expecting my coffee when I came back out. You need to prepay, and um, even if you want to tell us that you're going to the bathroom just so we don't throw away your drink, y you can't just disappear. Can I get a black buttercream cake that won't stain my teeth? And I would like a genie in a bottle. Sorry? You're asking for a miracle. Hello there, can I get a Krakow cheesecake for my kid and a sandwich with lettuce and cheese for me please? Okay, just to warn you, Krakow cheesecake isn't to some people's tastes, it's not like an ordinary cheesecake. Oh yeah, that's fine. Okay, here you go. Ugh, sorry, what is in that cheesecake? I, I did say that it wasn't like your normal cheesecake, but did you listen? No. It's a cheesecake. It's just a base and some cream cheese. Up, 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 up. Cream cheese? Up, 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 up. What? I never said it was cream cheese. What else could it be? What is it then? Cottage cheese. <laughs> yeah. Hi there, um, I'm in a little bit of a panic. Uh, the cake I got here, um, it's melted in my car. I'm on the way to the party. I don't have time for this. Oh, no, it, it shouldn't do that. Um, when did you pick it up? Up to 6 p.m. That's, that's not bad. It's only, it's only just half six now. Yesterday. Yesterday? 6 p.m. yesterday. Oh my god. I need help. What do you do? I don't have a cake. Nothing. Hello there, um, can you deliver a cake to someone? Yeah, let me grab my booking sheet, uh, where do you need it to go? London. 
London. Um, yes, I don't know of any other London, so London, England, yeah. England. Um, that is the UK. This is Republic of Ireland. Last time I checked, yeah. Are we on the same wavelength right now? I mean, can't you just drive it to London? No. But, like, Ireland's attached to the UK. Not, not to London. So you're telling me you can't do that? You would have to pay me my monthly salary and more. Come on, it's not that far. Find a bakery in London. Listen, my son wanted a Barbie cake, but I'm not letting him have that. I'll get him a race car cake, please. Great. You bet I'm going to make that a Barbie race car. Hello, um, I'd like to order a Bailey's cheesecake for my son's fifth birthday. You do realize Bailey's is an alcohol. What? Hi, I'm Darla's mother-in-law. I believe she came in here to order a cake for my son. Okay. Can you just tell me what she was going to put on the cake? Oh, um, sorry love, I can't do that. We don't give away that kind of information. Oh, come on Alice, I'm her mother-in-law. I have the right to know. I believe she's putting kiwis on the cake. My son is allergic. Okay, you know what? I will check the order forms, but I'm not telling you anything about the cake except for whether it has kiwis on or not. Okay. Let me just... Nope, there's no kiwis on it. What? Are you sure? Yes, I'm very sure. Can you imagine? She stops me from inputting on their wedding cake and their birthday cake. They've only been together for six years. Only six years? Okay, um, anyways, is there anything else I can help you with? Are you sure you wouldn't let me change the birthday cake order? I know what he would like way better than she would. I'm sorry, but no. You're useless, Alice. Okay. Hello, Darla? Hello. Oh, um, hi. My mum sent me and she's too lazy to get out of bed and she told me not to tell the baker that the brownies last time were terrible and she's going on a diet this time so she wants the carrot cake. She told me only to tell you that she wants the carrot cake. Okay. And then my dad said she doesn't need to diet so she should get the double chocolate cake because she'll end up eating half of his double chocolate cake anyways afterwards. So uh, he only told me to tell you to get the chocolate cake for him and her. Okay, um, here's both of them. <laughs> How old are you? Oh, I, I turn 20 next week. You look like my 50-year-old uncle. Great. Hello there, I made a cake the other week and everyone was feeling quite unwell after it. I was wondering if I could go through the recipe with you so you could maybe point out what I did wrong? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, I'm not a doctor, but I can probably point out some potential allergens from the recipe if you have it with you. Oh yeah, I'm not looking for medical advice, I'm just curious. Uh, I started with the milk. Is anyone lactose intolerant? No, God no. And then the eggs and the butter. Could anyone have an egg allergy in your family? Not really. And then the flour. Gluten allergy? Celiac? No, uh, I don't know. You know, I, I can't really see much. It's a fairly basic cake recipe and you've bought cakes uh, from here before with probably more ingredients than that. And I don't know, you probably weren't feeling unwell after them. And you know, I didn't even pick any fancy decorations. I just picked some flowers from my garden. What? You know, I just picked some flowers from my garden and stuck them right in the cake. You didn't eat any of the flowers, did you? Oh no, I did, all of them. <laughs> Why? I think we just figured it out. Hello there, can I order a nut-free cake for my son? Yeah, of course. Great, I'd like it to be vanilla flavoured. Perfect. And have, um, chocolate icing. Okay. And have Ferrero Rochers on top. Um, Farrah's favourite chocolate. Uh, I know they're a little expensive. <laughs> you do know Ferrero Rochers have hazelnuts in? No, they don't. Um, yeah, they do. I thought that was white chocolate, no? They have an entire hazelnut inside and they're coated with chocolate-covered hazelnuts. I, I've been feeding my son them for years. Oh my. Hi there, can I get a cake? Oh, yeah, um, of course, what would you like? Um, that one. Oh, perfect, okay. Uh, uh, does it have egg in? Yeah. Oh, um, no bother, but I can't eat it. I'm allergic to eggs. Do you have any cakes that don't have eggs in? Um, okay. Uh, oh yeah, I have that one. There's, um, sprinkles on top. Do you not like sprinkles? They're rainbow. Uh, yeah? Yeah, but I just, I don't support that kind of stuff. Rainbow. They're sprinkles. Yeah, but you know, the rainbow. <laughs> oh, 
fine. I'll scrape off the icing and put some new icing on with plain sprinkles. Yeah, that'd be much better. 